Welcome to another knitting tutorial from www.allfreeknitting.com. I'm Mariana and I'll be showing you how to do magic loop knitting. Magic loop knitting is a way of knitting in the round without using double pointed needles. To use this technique, you need a much longer cable than your project needs. The cable should be around 30 inches long. Begin by casting on the number of stitches your project requires. Generally, you should use an even number of stitches. For this tutorial, I cast on 20 stitches. Once you cast on your stitches, move the stitches to the middle of the cable. Divide those stitches in half and move each half to the opposite needles. Since I cast on 20 stitches, I want 10 stitches on each of my needles. So pull the cable from the middle of your stitches so you can bring each half of stitches to opposite needles. After you get them back on the needles, make sure that your stitches are all facing each other so you don't twist any stitches. Once your stitches are on the needles, make sure that the yarn that you'll be knitting with is, is it on the front needle. And now, take the stitches on the front needle and move them back onto the cable. Now, simply join in the round by knitting into the back needle. The first stitch of each round you should knit tightly in order to avoid ladders or gaps between the stitches. Now you just knit across your row, working all the stitches from the left needle to the right needle. Once you reach the end of the row, put the stitches from the cable onto the now empty left needle, and you can turn your work. Then move the stitches you just knit back onto the cable and knit the next row, trying to keep the yarn tight, especially when you knit the first stitch. Continue in this manner of knitting across each row and then moving the, the stitches on the cable to the empty needle and the stitches that were just knit onto the cable throughout your pattern. And that is how you can knit something in the round without using double pointed needles. This is what my demo looks like after a few rounds. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to knit using the magic loop method brought to you by www.allfreeknitting.com. Thanks for watching.